Hi everyone, Teddy Baldessar with teddybaldessar.com. Today we're gonna to be looking at an amazing new watch from Tissot with their Tissot PRX. Now in this video, we'll do a deeper review of this watch and then in the end, just kind of talk about some things to consider who this watch is for, who it's not for, if you are looking to purchase it. And then finally, relevant links in the description, more information about this timepiece as well as where to purchase it on teddybaldessar.com, full authorized dealer of Tissot watches. But guys, let's jump into the video, take a closer look at this watch. Now, first again, to run down to the specs, we have a case size of 40 millimeters, thickness of 10.4 millimeters, lug to lug of 44.6 millimeters, water resistance of 100 meters, movement is a quartz ETA F06115, crystal is sapphire, and price $375. TeddyBaldessar.com, full authorized dealer of Tissot watches, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer service, full factory warranty for all the products that we carry. So if something goes wrong, you don't have to pay the bill for it. And nine out of every $10 that we generate from our store goes right back into the content that we're creating. So, so far this year, this is perhaps one of the models that I am the most excited to feature uh, and finally present with the Tissot PRX. The moment I saw the press photos of this thing, I knew this one was gonna be a hit, but there's still some questions about the case, the wearability, and of course the bracelet giving that this is going to follow an integrated bracelet design. So first off, before people go crazy in the comments saying, hey, this is a complete ripoff, this model is stemming from a design from Tissot in the late 1970s with their Sea Star collection and really inhabiting it within a modern package. Of course, this integrated bracelet style is certainly beaten to death, but I think this does create a bit of an interesting dialogue as well as offering in this instance, considering the fact that this one is coming in at a price of $375. And as you'll probably see with the case finishing and what we'll talk about with the bracelet, it's coming together as a really solid package for the money. Now the make it or break it factor with this timepiece is going to be with its case design as well as that bracelet. First starting with the case, now this is nothing essentially entirely new with this overall approach to design. Uh, this really following that 1970s integrated bracelet style that was very popular. In terms of where this one is pulling inspiration from the most, someone made a very good comment, and I think it's a very accurate one. A lot of people commonly throw in the Nautilus as well as the Royal Oak as being the main point of influence, but in this instance, I see much more of, say, a Vacheron Constantin 222 with the overall approach here, uh, but of course not mirroring it completely and just adding elements that is really coming together in an attractive way. On top of those integrated style lugs coming in that hood design, you're going to be getting a brush style finish with a high polished bezel that is going to be slanted off to the side, offering a bit of view with the sapphire extending out from the bezel at the farthest out point. Along the side of the case, we have very nice faceting breaking off the different elements with the extending bezel off from the central case format, as well as the case back as well. And then along the flank of the case, you're going to see a hairline bevel and high polish, which is going to create a really nice pop to the case finish and really make this one look much more expensive than it is. But really where this timepiece is going to come together is with the bracelet. Now, if you have purchased enough watches out there, especially under this $500 range, there is a lot of reasons to have some reluctance when overly relying on an integrated bracelet because let's be candid, many of them are not good. Thankfully here in this instance though, Tissot did a fantastic job with this bracelet. Not only is it gonna be very breathable, it's not gonna be a hair puller, and you're not gonna feel the desire to wanna to change this thing out. And that is the huge challenge when going for the integrated bracelet route. If you're feeling like you're stuck with a bracelet with this integrated design, it's a tough place to be. The bracelet's gonna have traditional vertical brush styling, which looks great, but also to add a bit more pop and flair on the internal side of the inner links, you're also gonna see some high polishing, which underneath the light is again going to add very similar effect that the hairline bevel was with just making this one look much more expensive. At the underside, it's gonna to come together at a sign butterfly release clasp, two button release, it's secure when locking and should offer really nice comfortable wear. This is pin adjusted in terms of the bracelet, so no screwed in length, but overall very well done bracelet for the money. For $375, you're really gonna be hard pressed to find a better one and that is a huge benefit to this timepiece uh, considering that because you're going for the integrated style again, uh, you're going to want to make sure this one is good. Now to look towards the direction of wearability. So this is a bit more of an involved process. When going through the specs, 40 millimeter case size across with that diameter, which is great. Thickness is fantastic with 10.4 millimeters, but the lug to lug distance as well as going with this integrated style kind of doesn't tell the full story here. So when you measure lug tip to lug tip, 
that is going to be at 44 and a half millimeters, just approximately there. But the end length that's going to be extending out does protrude a bit more and doesn't shoot directly down. So you might have some added wear that's going to be felt from the top and the bottom of the case. If you measured at the farthest out point of that center length, it's going to equal out to 51 millimeters. This doesn't equal out completely. I don't think either of these two dimensions, both the lug to lug at 44.6 and the measuring of that center link at the farthest out point at 51 millimeters tells the full story. This one's gonna wear probably more in between there and should work on a variety of different wrists, but this is important when factoring in and to not read so much into that more really condensed lug to lug distance considering just how this case format is. Looking straight on at the center of the watch, we do have a sapphire crystal which will provide some nice added protection and nice to see in a watch of this price range of sub $400. Now the dial is rather simple. You're getting a traditional steel baton style handset at the center. Along the outside, we do have applied markers. Both the hands and the markers are going to contain Super Luminova. They are not going to have that much of a surface area, so don't expect the most groundbreaking loom here, but it definitely does do the job in helping with orientation in the dark. At the three o'clock, we're going to see a step date window, nicely executed. And in terms of dial finishes, you have three different options to choose from. You can go with a blue dial, a black dial, as well as a silver dial. All of them have their own appeal. I think the blue is gonna be the one that's gonna lead into the most comparisons to the other integrated style braces out there. But the silver as well as the black, I think separate a bit more and being a bit more distinctive. All of them look very good with a subtle sunburst finish on the surface. At the 12 o'clock, we do have the writing of Tissot in this traditional format with the year of its founding written right underneath. And then at the six, we're gonna see the writing of PRX coming in a retro style italicized format, which might clash a little bit for some people. I think it's a good way to include it add a bit more of retro design to the style, as I do think it would be a bit weird if they matched the same font or typeface from the Tissot logo down here. Now flipping the PRX over, we do have a closed case back not being highly decorated in any way and housing the Quartz Eta F06115. So of course, this is going to be a Quartz movement, Swiss made Quartz movement at that. And as I know many people love going for the mechanical route uh, that currently is not being offered and would probably end up raising the price to the $700 to $800 range if they were to want to put their say Powermatic 80 movement inside of here. Of course, with that Quartz oscillation with this movement within, you're going to be getting some fantastic accuracy out of this timepiece. It's going to blow away any mechanical watch out there. And you should expect a battery life of around five years at the minimum end of this watch. So uh, you are going to get a lot of reliability and ease of use. And considering there is going to be a course movement in here is going to bring down the cost considerably, allowing this one to be priced at this $375 price point. Now to unpack and take a closer look at this PRX, it is so important whenever going for this integrated bracelet style, especially at this affordable end where many manufacturers cut costs, try to just produce something that's going to look the part, but maybe not be the part when you go out to the day to day. Thankfully this PRX from a finishing standpoint with its bracelet finishing does a very good job in where it's occupying. I think Tissot from a design point of view and from a manufacturing point of view did an amazing job with this watch. Now that said, uh, there's certainly not gonna be for everybody given the fact that it is more, again, in this integrated style bracelet. It of course isn't the most uh, unique looking thing in the world when looking at the world of watchmaking. And I do think there's going to be some people that are just not going to look in this direction because this is a quartz watch. I don't believe in much of that quartz bashing. You get added benefit of accuracy, reliability in many instances. And this one is priced at a really reasonable price bracket. You're getting some very nice finishing for it that it makes a ton of sense to go for a watch in this range and especially quartz with this one not really going off the most unique design and just being something that could play the part in your collection if you ever wanted to maybe dabble in the world of integrated style braces but didn't want to pay a ton of money and I think if they do go into the world of mechanicals with this watch I'd have to imagine it's going to be upwards of $700, $800 in terms of where they're going to price it if they put their Powermatic 80 movements inside. So all in all I think Tissot fantastic job I think they have a hit on their hands with the PRX it's well finished, sized pretty appropriately, and then in addition to that is a nice entry door into the world of these integrated style bracelets and doing it at a very affordable price. All right guys, if you did find this video helpful, thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. I'm gonna be posting three to seven videos a week on this channel, so it's a great way to stay up to date with the content. I'm gonna bring you a lot more great videos in the future. Finally, if you are interested in this watch, Link to buy in the description from teddyballatstar.com. Full authorized dealer of all the brands that we carry, full factory warranty, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer service, also offer price match. So if you see one of our watches at another authorized dealer for a more affordable price, you just fill out the form on the product page and we'll reach out to you. And finally, nine out of every $10 that we generate from our store goes right back into the content that we're generating and trying to create a new generation of watch enthusiasts in the process. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.